of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. Soviet Union has suffered one of the worst disasters in the history of nuclear power. Massive quantities of radiation have apparently been released in an accident at the Chernobyl power station in the Ukraine. Many thousands of people live in the vicinity. Moscow admits there have been casualties and signs are that a big relief operation is underway. <laughs> First morning uh, here in Pripyat, uh, last night we got in about 1.30 in the morning after just a grueling death march, it seemed like. Um, the, we had three guys we didn't know that had joined our group. Uh, one of them, Callum, his name is Callum. Uh, oh, he's so sick, he was just throwing up the last mile. The guides carried his pack, and uh, Blake's not feeling good today. But, uh, um, you know, it was, a, it was a tough walk in. And I mean, that last mile, we probably stopped five times just for somebody to throw up or take a break because your back was breaking from the pack or whatever it was. But anyway, the guides brought us to this place where they kind of had a place set up for us. Um, <clears throat> they added these three guys in at the last minute probably to make some extra money for themselves. And where we went to was set up for maybe three or four people. So they had to try to makeshift it for six. And um, I got stuck in a room that looks like Maybe they used to do autopsies in there. Probably not. I'm just kidding. And the other guy's got the actual room room. Um, the beds, it's like sleeping on a, a, a slinky. Not that I'm expecting anything. I'm just saying the ground would be better, but it's just so dusty and dirty. I'll show you in the video later. Anyway, whatever. It's all part of the thing. I'm fine with that. Uh, but then the guides, at the let, they took off last night and said, okay, we got our spot we're going to go to, which is probably pretty fixed up and uh, we'll be back at 11 tomorrow to get you guys to walk around and don't go anywhere don't walk around on your own well that was kind of bullshit I thought I woke up at 5 30 this morning and uh, nobody else was up I and, and I understand why but I went out and walked up and down the street out here a little bit and uh, um, I just didn't go too far because I didn't want to get lost I didn't really know where I was going but I would have been more than happy to go explore by myself. Anyway, I'll show you a little bit about where we're at. I'm on the roof of the building we're in right now, which is like a two-story with maybe a basement building. It looks like really this building was probably either a spa or a gym or a mental institution or something. There's lots of bathtubs and showers, but it looks like it kind of has a nice reception area. 
but then there's alarms on all the windows on the second floor, which I don't, I don't really know if I understand what that is. We'll, we'll try to figure out. There's a sign that we're going to try to decipher, too, to see what this building is. Uh, but I'll show you around. And uh, I'm on the roof now, but I'm, I'm going to take you back down and show you the lovely conditions that we're living in. So here we are on the lovely rooftop. That's a door I came out of, kind of the exit from... If I can get to the front of the sign, I can maybe kind of see what it says. Ugh. That's what boots are for, right? Like all behind me here is a bunch of maybe apartment complexes. Looks like the city just basically goes behind me. Maybe I'm on the edge of it. I'm not really sure. We came in last night. The last little bit was on some train tracks. And uh, that was kind of cool, eerie. Uh, one track looked like it's, it's still used for some particular reason. And uh, you know, we hear vehicles once in a while. There are workers. I guess they, uh, they do not use Reactor 1, 2, and 3 anymore. And uh, 4 is the one that blew up. And so there's a, a workforce of some kinds that maintains that uh, containment zone or the, I'm sorry, the containment uh, the sarcophagus. That's what it's called. Um, which you'll get to see a little later. I, I feel like I look like hell, but I'm here. I'm excited to be here. Nothing was more exciting than coming in last night and about a mile out, we ran into about six or seven Ukrainians on the way out. Uh, these guys were like 18 to 22. And there was a standoff for a moment when we saw, like we're wearing these headlights, but we're only using the red light. And uh, so there was just a moment when about, you know, a hundred feet in front of us, there was a, a bunch of red lights facing us and they must've seen the same thing. And all of us just froze because we were thinking, you know, security, uh, police or something. And I'm sure they were thinking the same thing, too. And then we slowly approached each other. And then it was like, hey, what's up? Hey. So I'm kind of standing in front of the sign. I, we'll figure out what it says later. But there's actually still some neon tubes in it. So to me, this, you, I guess this would be Russian because it was Soviet era, right? So Russian lettering which I think Ukrainian lettering to me looks very similar. I'm sure it's different and somebody would correct me, but uh, it's cool and weird looking, but you can kind of see the sign behind me. When I came through here uh, before, we couldn't see out that door. I didn't know it went to the roof because it was just dark. I was just looking for a better place to sleep. Really? Yeah. I don't know why this is here, but it makes it much more difficult. This is where I slept last night. Right there. <clears throat> Look at this thing. Every time you move. And here's what the rest of my room is. Giant leak. And I don't know what the hell it is. I got the crappy room. But the other one's not much better. It just has everybody else in it. I did have one guy with me. Stove. More stuff. And we, we don't know if showers for some reason. Here's another thing that doesn't make any sense. All these windows have alarms on them. Keep the many people from moving, I guess. Sardines. I don't know. That's where we're at, right up there. A crazy loading dock. Keep in mind, we haven't left the building that we've started, and we don't have a clue what else is out there.
garbage, I'm guessing. The front doors, I guess, and lobby of the building we're in. I'm sure, this was all nice and paved at one point. Got these little insignias, whatever that is. So let's go in. Again, the building we're staying at, the only building we've seen. Uh, over here we have. I don't know. Like a cooler, maybe for food. That's what this looks like. A bunch of food coolers. So, cafeteria of sorts. And these weird things are, took me a minute to figure out, but that's the fluorescent light covers. What's hanging in there? Oh, it's just light.
take all the cribs and throw them in here. I mean, it's in such good condition, you could almost open it back up today. It'll collapse. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of, too. That's why I'm here now, yeah. partly. Also, I'm just nuts. So, do they still, still teach the Russian in the school in Ukraine now, or are they just um, just Ukraine? Ukraine? That's why you can speak Russian, because you got no. That's my plan. Russian, like my Right. It's like English in the uh, in world, like it's the same like mm -hmm. Russian in, in Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. There, yeah.
where you're staying. What is this? It's school. All right, going into another school. Come back here. He's saying we were. I got my heart going. Third grade?
Look at this one. Neil. Yeah, it is. I don't know if you could see it, the trees, but there's a basketball, basketball hoop right here, and basketball, right down there. You see it? This ladder was a lot easier than the other one. Jim. Still basketballs up there. I didn't know what this is when I came in, but uh, Neil explained it to me very obvious. Obviously when you come in here, you've got a coat rack system. And the older you get, the taller you get. It determines where you put your coat. Check it out.
Red, blue, or green? Yeah. What did they sell in the not Coca Cola? Do you like the American flag? The Bible? What are the Bibles? Oh, there is sugar and sticks here. So if I were to hold it like this, or yeah. if I had it facing us, you know, it'll run it. Thank you. 
a Friday night and uh, 7.30 p.m. The guides, we did a little self-guided tour, which was pretty awesome. Rooftop, got a nice view of stuff we haven't seen, including the reactor. But now, uh, guides finally came back and we're headed to the uh, Jupiter factory. Wait till we get into different areas, yeah. I'm not trying to do the whole thing, it's just there's some crazy stuff there. Let's try to get clips. So is this a police station and jail? Yeah. yeah. two tunes. the wheel. <clears throat> Straight out.
16 story building and it's the only time that I, I can get this to work at all anywhere else. Here, but. Okay, here, I'm gonna give you a uh, so. How did they get that light to work? Remember they had that light working. No? And we found a flat. I think it's use our coals. Let's go. There are some mattresses here, a big chiffonier, and a sofa. And now we have to fix this flat. The light is on, the bulb is weak, but that's quite enough for us. Bathroom has a lamp too. Really cozy. It's time to put a carpet. Oh my, it's perfect. That is just awesome, dude. We need to clear the flow now. Yeah, and we can take the shoes off. <laughs> In one video they were like, we've got electricity and they were just... just like power bank. Oh, yeah. they're just met, they're screwing around. Yeah. <laughs> Here we get some more lights on the... the red lights on? Yeah. I hope that's a... It was beautiful two years I spent in this apartment. You did? They didn't leave any booze for us. It's all my collection. <laughs> it is? Yeah. <laughs> Sounded better at the other place. <laughs> That's the water thing that that guy works at. Yeah. 